This is my extreme one chunk Iron Man, Canifis chunk. I have 47 chunks unlocked and have spent over 2,000 hours grinding chunks in total. However, in this episode, I roll what could be my toughest chunk ever. And the first time I've actually been legitimately scared that I may not be able to complete the tasks that the chunk picker has given us. Buckle in for this bumper extended episode and welcome back to Canifis Chunk. You have a whole football, or should I say soccer, match worth of unsponsored extreme one chunk fun ahead of you today. So if you aren't a tight git, hit the subscribe button. It makes a humble, recently unemployed gentleman such as myself very happy. And on that last point, after my employer imploded last week, I could do with your support more than ever. So for the last time I'm going to shout it out, please check out the desk mats commemorating the Revenant arc of this account. They're very nearly sold out. They look amazing. Ka-chow, ka-chow! And every purchase directly supports the channel. Thank you. And here we are in the first clip of the video, and it is us getting 1,000 zeal. So I got all of these today in one day, and I didn't particularly have a very efficient day because I was uh, uploading the last video. So 1,000 zeal in the day seems fairly achievable. The average for the pet is about 12,000 zeal, so we should be able to knock out this pet in about two weeks at a max as long as we don't start going ridiculously overrate which does seem to be the standard for us um but what i'm gonna do is just buy some crates and just kind of get stuck in because why not um may as well why did that not buy am i too stupid probably right 10 10 oh and then you've got to actually click okay so let's just start off with some stuff nothing too exciting no pet but there we go, 10,000 pure essence, yeah. The pure essence from this is going to be absolutely biblical. Um, so I've actually devised a new method of how I'm doing Star Wars, and I will show that to you shortly. But essentially, what it is, is about 270 to 280 um, zeal per hour, and extremely AFK relative to the method that I displayed last time. So definitely a big step up in terms of how I can do this for longevity rather than the absolute maximum zeal per hour um, but it should increase my zeal per day because uh, i can basically just like play tetris and stuff whilst actually doing this so fun times yeah <laughs> look at this <gasps> oh my god what is going on it's and look this is mental what are these even for who <laughs> Who needs this many Soul Wars bonds? <laughs> 102 players waiting in the lobby. That seems bonkers to me. So, I realised that I did not bother doing the uh, the new run-through of the method. So, I will do... <laughs> As if that bot farm just spawned in like that again. That is ridiculous. Right, let's do a run-through of the method that, with the updates that we have added to it. So, we go through it as usual. Challenge the other account, confirm, confirm, confirm. First thing we do is we run over on the alternative account, pick up the potions. We do the same thing with the main account. We then run over here, and right at this moment in time, the alternative account is the priority, not Canifish Chunk, because we're kind of time-gated far more on the main than we are on Canifish Chunk. So uh, all we need to do on Canifish Chunk is run over to the Soul Obelisk, uh, on the main account, we are praying up, locator orbing down, getting rigor and prey melee up, and then running over here once we're on one hit point. So, uh, we're then going to get stuck in over here. I use the specs, even though it's kind of annoying, so that I can uh, get some better damage in. Um, and I just make sure to locator orb back down to one hit point again when I can. And then we carry on our kills as we were. So right now, the Canifish Chunk is just um, 
capturing the soul obelisk. It is also uh, going to be equipping its magic short bow and potting up to make our hit on the main a bit more likely. So we're only getting 16 soul fragments now relative to the 32 or so we were getting before. And if you notice, we've already got those. So we then quickly magic short bow spec from Calafish Chunk to kill our main account. And we tele grab the soul fragments that he had, the 16. We then chuck those into the soul obelisk and equip our Vigorous Chain Mace. And then we run over to the enemy avatar. So if you notice, that only took about 1 minute and 30 seconds. So it's about a minute faster than the method that I was doing before to get to that stage, right? But what we're going to do now is not leave the game on the main account on the alternative account we're going to run over to the uh, enemy avatar on Canafish chunk and just afk it to death essentially so uh, it's not going to die we're going to get kicked out of the game eventually in about two minutes time and that's perfect for us because what i've realized is that actually um the amount of points the amount of zeal that i get per game is actually capped by the time in the private games because the private games are less kind of zeal um per thing if you know what i mean uh to the public games so obviously the public games i can't control them um so yeah we then just afk this boss so the crucial thing with the avatar kill is that we get it down to below about 70 percent hit points um because then we've we've capped our avatar points that we can get um, and we've hit the time cap so at the point that we've hit the time cap there's no point going any further because all that we can get is time points we can't get damage points or capture points or anything like that that's why we don't need to capture the graveyards anymore we can just capture the soul obelisk chuck in and and, and then that is the reason also that we're only chucking in 16 um soul fragments because we don't need to get the strength figure here down below 57 percent if we get it down more than that we'll kill more of the avatar of destruction but we won't get any more points for it but we will have spent more time getting the soul fragments if you know what i mean so this is what i've decided is optimal i tried it with 12 soul fragments instead of 16 and that didn't work either it was too strong i couldn't hit high enough um to get it down below 70 percent before the time ran out um and yeah so this is kind of absolutely optimal for me games take about four minutes we get 19 zero and crucially this bit where i'm attacking the avatar as you can see i'm kind of clicking around at the moment but i wouldn't normally be doing that i would have clicked this avatar and then gone into another screen and done something else you know i could edit i can play other games i can do my uh, my work like i can do anything um so yeah that's what we're kind of doing at the moment so we basically put in about a minute 30 to two minutes worth of like actual input and then after that we just sit here and afk the the avatar um and that works perfectly for me because i'm still getting about 270 per hour so our main account just got kicked and there we go and we go oh only 18 zeal instead of the 19 zeal that we normally get but still very decent for only about one minute 30s worth of like actual input so we will take those and then we just run back in and start another game and it really is as simple as that um that's basically what I'm doing on repeat. On mobile, I am actually these days um, going to be doing some like Soul Wars from a, a clan chat called Zeal Gain, which essentially just let you get a slightly lower amount of Zeal per hour, about 200 to 240. Um, but for obvious reasons, when I'm on mobile, I can't do this um, because it's just too... Um, like you know i can't log in on two accounts at once right um so yeah this is what we're doing now this is what we're going to be spending most of our time doing the zeal per hour is really not too bad so i'm not expecting this chunk to actually take too long to be honest it's quite easy now quite afk um and i can knock out a lot of hours in a day particularly if we're doing some zeal gain runs in the evenings as well on mobile um we should be picking up quite a lot of zeal uh next clip you'll probably see is me opening some crates at 1500 zeal because that is equivalent to 50 spoils of war and hopefully from 50 i mean that's a one in eight shot of the pet so maybe we'll be getting the pet in the next clip and there is 1500 zeal so it is time to grab ourselves a bunch of spoils of war and just get stuck into them come on i'd love i'd love to get this pet early i mean the the, the resources are quite good to be fair so it's not actually crucial that i do but 
bank pin. Right, and here is the second set of ten. Can we get... LOL! <laughs> oh, that was pretty easy then. <laughs> we got that so early. Yes! As if we got that. I saw, oh my god, I saw the... Uh, I saw the collection log pop up and I was like, Oh, is there something else I can get? No fucking way! Yes, we got that so early. Oh my god. There it is, Lil Creator. Look at that bad boy. Oh my god. Look at that. Lil Destructor. <laughs> oh, and the best part about that is because I got it, like, because I was only buying the crates 10 at a time, I still have 909 zeal left. So, what we can do is buy ourselves the Ectoplasmator, uh, which is another collection log slot. Uh, I don't know how I charge that. I probably should find that out. Um, but now we basically need what? Um, uh, how many zeal do we have left? 650? Yeah, so I basically now just need to get 1850 by the soul cape. And we're done, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's the last thing. Um, that's so exciting. Oh my god, as if I got the pet. <laughs> I can't believe I got it. Oh, I might as well open these next five. See what see what I got. Imagine if I got a second one. Okay, we didn't get a second one. Um, but that's pretty crazy. Look at that. Oh my god, I officially got a drop. Underrate, like significantly underrate for once. I'm so happy. Oh my god, right, let's pick that up. And I'll in fact I'm gonna metamorphosize that because that looks terrible in the invent like that. Uh pick that up. Chuck that in there, insert that in there, so our Soul Wars tab, and there we go. Looking extremely attractive, if I must say. I am so happy about that. Oh, big, big news. That is big news. Right, let's go knock out the rest of these zeal for the Soul Cape, and then I guess we're rolling a chunk again. Exciting stuff. Okay, I've got a little hack for this method if you're feeling, uh, you know, particularly late on the charge. So you see here how I don't have the obelisk full charged and to hit with the MSB I have to stand out of range. Uh, if you look at this though, this is a thing of beauty. So you can hit, run back and then capture from here and then you can telekinetic grab from here as well. So you can uh, save yourself but a few game ticks if you're uh, feeling really racy. So it is the morning after the night before and one thing I forgot to mention last night is the soul cape isn't the last thing that we need so I'm up to 1100 zeal so 1400 to go um, but it's not the last thing I need because I need 70 prayer to equip it don't I um, and I don't quite have enough bones yet to uh, get 70 prayer I've got 1050 um, but one thing I realised is and I don't know why I didn't before, is Soul Wars is probably actually quite good for training my prayer. Um, looking at this 84 XP per token, um, right now it's probably what, 24k per hour, 22k per hour, something like that. Not too bad, but, all, but, but I don't think that's excellent. Um, whereas... Uh, these dragon bones at the Ectofuntus, uh, that's what, 288k XP right there, so assuming it takes me less than 14 hours to gain and uh, use all of those, um, that direct green dragons will be better. Um, but I don't know, and particularly because the zeal tokens will go up, right? The XP per token is going to go up over time. Um, particularly, for example, if I was to get um, if I was to get the hit points cape as a as a task in my next chunk, 800k to go, not too bad. But I could use this XP on hit points, right? And and that would suddenly be like a lot. Because if I can get like 300 per hour, we're talking, what, nearly 150,000 hit points XP per hour on top of what I can get in the minigame by killing the avatar. So, yeah, suddenly we have quite a good one to train. And I think if this goes, if we get up to like, what, uh, 80 or so, we should be able to be getting like 200 XP per 
one of these, right? So suddenly the 99 prayer grind, which we will eventually get because it's rollable right now, um, suddenly isn't so bad anymore because at the higher levels we're going to be able to get, you know, 50k, 60k, maybe like 70k just from uh, just from the zeal tokens. So yeah, I'm going to do a bit of a um, a bit of a a bit of a test right now which is how many dragons can i kill per hour with the crossbow uh, when i'm actually trying on pc um as well as how many buckets of x of slime can i purchase per hour and also how many bones can i use per hour and then i'm going to amalgamate all those numbers to get an xp per hour because that xp per hour is not going to change i've got 99 range and i've got you know a very high agility level so realistically that amount is not going to change whereas the zeal tokens are going to change so i'm fully anticipating the green dragon bones to be better right at this second but i think over time the zeal is going to take over as the better method but because it's predetermined what xp per zeal it is and how many tokens i can get i can essentially work that out and figure out ex at exactly what point zeal becomes better than green dragons over time training my prayer but yeah that, that's that's where we're at um and that's what i'm gonna do now so i am back from my first trip of green dragons and probably the only trip that we're gonna do because i think i've calculated that it's not that great potentially uh so the amount of dragon bones that we got in that trip uh equates to roughly 230 dragon bones per hour in the time that we had to do it um that seems like a lot but you've got to bear in mind that i also have to use those bones at the ectophantus and i've also had to use a load of crossbow ammunition to get the bones in the first place whereas soul wars is just completely free so what i'm going to do now is go buy the slime and use the bones and see what the overall xp per hour is Okay, so we are in Port Phasmatis. What I'm going to do now is just uh, grab my coins, grab my Ghost Beak amulet, and just go and buy the buckets of slime from the charters. So it should be fairly easy. I've done this route a million billion times, having got 87 crafting here. Run over here, trade with a charter crew member, check that they've got the stock, buy the buckets of slime, set that left click to buy 50 buy the 50 and then just hop world and on to the next one um i'm anticipating this being quite high buckets of slime per hour and a relatively small amount of the overall time in between killing the bone uh between killing the dragons and using the bones but it's still a significant amount of time that i need to account for so uh i've done this for a little while now and the uh, rate that we're getting them at in the six minutes that we did it for is 163 in six minutes, uh, which sounds like a lot. And I guess it is a lot. So we're looking at about 1600 slime per hour, uh, which is quite quick in, in relation to the rest of the, the, the method because, you know, we're only killing 230 dragons. Uh, so it's about, you know, seven times faster than that. But it still adds up to the time overall so yeah now i'm just going to go and use the bones so the ectophantus is a rather painful method of training your prayer isn't it um here we are so so when you cash it in it's really not too bad 288 xp per one you just like chuck nine of them in quick as quick as you like um but because i don't have the ecto file i've got to walk really quite a long way um and because of that, I've calculated it at being about 180 bones per hour. Um, and that's really not a lot. Um, so it's going to take, you know, upwards of five hours just to do the 1000 bones that we've got here. Uh, not including the time to actually get the dragon bones. So, yeah, slightly painful. So if we do the maths and look at all of the methods, the three methods that make up the XP per hour for the dragon bones, we're looking at 230 dragon bones per hour collected, buying 1600 slime per hour, and then using 180 bones and slime per hour at the Ectophantus. So in terms of just using the bones, we're looking at 288 XP times 180 for 51,840. So we'll round that up and call it uh, call it 52,000. 
but uh, it takes an additional 47 minutes to get the dragon bones for that. Uh, for that hour and an additional seven minutes to get the slime for that hour so we're looking at 54 additional minutes per hour that we get 52k xp if that makes sense um so what we're looking at as an overall xp rate is 50 no sorry that's me getting that wrong is 27k xp per hour um which is slightly better than Soul Wars is for me at the moment. So if we look at Soul Wars, I can absolutely max out about 300 zeal per hour, but more realistically, we're looking at three, uh, about 250 zeal per hour. Um, and if we look at the chart of uh, zeal tokens used, which I'm going to put on screen because I'm a good YouTuber, um, at level 60, which is the uh, which is the level we're at now, 60 to 64, you get 84 XP per zeal. So if I do 300, so absolutely max out sweat at getting the zeal, uh, we're looking at about uh, 25,000 XP per hour. So worse than 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 what I'm getting at the dragon bones, but crucially at the dragon bones i'm using ether and at uh, the and at soul wars i'm not so that could be better once we move up to 65 to 69 which we are going to have to do in this chunk because we need to get level 70 um we're looking at 98 xp per zeal so suddenly uh, if we are absolutely sweating we're looking at about 30k xp per hour um and if we're not we're looking at about 25k so at that point it starts looking a bit better to be using the zeal overall never mind the ether use and then past that at 112 you know it's starting to get silly right and once you get to level like 95 uh using zeal is about is about 60,000 xp per hour total so not only is that better than like collecting the bones buying the slime uh using the bones it's better than just using the bones so yeah soul wars is definitely going to be our prayer method uh going forward uh if we ever roll the monastery or something like that we'll be you know soul warsing up to the nines um but for now i'm it is worth it for me to use the dragon bones that i've already collected on mobile uh but it is not going to be worth it for me to collect anymore so for the second half of this uh this soul wars this prayer grind we're going to use Soul Wars. Okay, so here is the first prayer level that we're going to be getting on the video. Uh, we're nearly kind of finished with the dragon. Well, we're not nearly finished. We're right halfway through. Um, so we're going to get a few, a couple, at least a couple more prayer levels um, with the dragon bones that we got, which is very nice. But here is level 60 for prayer. And onwards to the next one. Okay, so... I, uh, I got up to 68 with the dragon bones and I also went and knocked out some zeal. So if I've done my calculations correctly, if I chuck all of these tokens into the zeal, uh, and all these tokens into prayer XP, I should be getting almost to level 70. So that is level 69 and just a couple K XP for level 70. And there it is with 70 tokens left prayer level 70 now i just need to go and get the two and a half thousand tokens for the soul cape which is yeah two and a half thousand okay it has been a long slog i tell you what dolo soul wars is quite tough to kind of keep up for a long period of time but there is 2500 zeal that took nearly 10 hours to get um of just entirely not recording so you know don't don't let them tell you i can't grind um, but there is the tokens that we need for the soul cape it's so depressing because we could be getting so many spoils of war so it's like such a good upgrade but like the thought that i could get like 80 80 spoils of war for that or like a thousand blighted super restores is just so tantalizing like please i mean i could even get what uh, like 4,000 blighted anglerfish. I mean, that would be nuts. I mean, I could use those anywhere in the wilderness or PvP. But let's pick up the Soul Cake. It is a best in slot for us and it is a collection log slot for us. And the stats on it are mental. So I didn't quite appreciate this, right? If I take, so if I just take off my other gear, um, it. It, I'll be. Uh, why, why have I not got my bank pin? Okay, so if I just take off all my other gear um, and stick the soul cape on, plus eight 
prayer bonus. That is mad. Considering my best cape at the moment is plus zero everything, plus eight prayer bonus is nuts. Like, I mean, in the certain in, in in you know certain scenarios, that's that is good. It looks terrible. I mean, I wish it was a fire cape or an infernal cape because they actually look pretty decent. But the stats plus eight prayer bonus. I mean, if I use a protection prayer or something i'm gonna get like a significant amount of additional time out of that um i can't use it in the wilderness because it doesn't protect like at all um it's 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 got a really low value so that is annoying because most of my grinds um have been in the wilderness and will continue to be for example like revenants or whatever i won't be able to use it at the revenants um but if we equip it we get four and a half minutes to the three and a half minutes that we get without it so it's an additional minute of afk pretty much anywhere outside the wilderness so very happy to have this one done and it is time to get into the chunk picker and here we are back in the chunk picker with all our tasks completed from the soul wars chunk um not too much to say we want barrows we don't want the monastery we have the soul wars chunks adjacent to soul wars available for us except the one to the east because you cannot run through to the east from there you have to roll south and then east and then up um but aside from that we're pretty much where we were before um let's see if wilderness chunk strikes again and he does strike again. Uh, looks like probably a nothing chunk to me. Would be, yep, looks like it. Um, I think this is where the Ents are. Um, so, yeah, that at least fills in that sort of southeast wilderness region a bit. Um, but, yeah, looks kind of about what I'd expect, to be honest, which is nothing. So let's go check it out and double check that. So the Chunk Picker believes this is nothing. Uh, cuts off our nice little diagonal line that we discovered in the last episode, but I guess it's easier if we can just run straight through, even if it's slightly less cool, that we go- oh, I'm on the wrong side of this lava. Oh, well, I guess I can just- I guess- <laughs> I guess I can just run straight around. Um, so we already had the black salamanders to the north of this little lava pool, and I believe the only thing here in this chunk that we're- making our way around to now is the uh ents in the woods um and that's not a big deal for us thankfully uh because i have actually lured these ents before from the chunk to the south to get logs and i was getting logs because i needed 87 fletching for the magic logs from the revenants and that is going to be the highest level grind here as well so where is it uh uh, no, not the bows, um, the shield, the shield. So uh, I can already make a magic shield because I'm already 87 fletching and the magic logs are the best thing that the Ent can drop. So that is the chunk goal that would have been here had we got this chunk a little earlier, but luckily we got the revenants for, well, <laughs> who knows if that's lucky, but yeah, there's nothing to do here. And we are back in the chunk picker and it is pretty much exactly how it was before. We didn't even have to add any chunks because uh, we were already entirely locked in on that one. Uh, so we are pretty much as we always are. We want to get barrows. We want to avoid the monastery. The rest of it is pretty much fine, I believe. Um, but otherwise, let's pick a chunk. Ooh, right in the middle of the wilderness. Wilderness chunk strikes again. Is that anything? No, so there is a cave. Um, so there is a cave there, <laughs> which supposedly has nothing in it. So we should just go and check that out and see what's happening. Oh, maybe we'll get to roll again. And here we are unlocking the um, the chunk north of the barracks enclave. So. It says there's nothing here for me in the chunk picker, but obviously there is some stuff here. The Karalanga teleport and also that cave to the northeast. Um, I obviously can't do the Karalanga teleport because that requires the ancient spellbook, which there's no chance of me getting. And I believe that this uh, this cave is the Calvarian cave, um, which would be pretty cool. But I don't think I can get in because you need to do the medium diary to enter the caves of the like the 
singles variants of the wilderness bosses so yeah you must complete the medium tier of the wilderness achievement diary to be allowed um so i've got uh rto in the cave of, oh no that's revenant uh, there in the revenant cave chunk and i've got spindle in the cave to the north and i have now calvarian in the chunk in the middle so that's quite interesting if we can get the medium tier diary done we can uh, get ourselves a void waker um, but the medium tier diary is unfortunately an incredibly difficult thing to do because you basically need the whole wilderness to be able to do it uh, so if i just pull up the wilderness diary task list like it's just a ridiculous list so low alchemy from the fountain of ruins so i don't have that chunk uh ardoon <laughs> it's a huge one which is miles away um earth warrior so we would be able to lay level up our slayer um, King Black Dragon Cave, awful. That would just be a terrible grind. Draconic Visage right there. Um, mine some uh, Mithril Ore, the Wilderness, uh, Agility Core, Smithing. So we'd have to get 99 Smithing because we've already got Rune Bar. It's just an endless... Oh, and, and the Edgeville Trader as well. So it's just an endless list of things that we don't have as well as, what, 50 Slayer. So we, yeah, uh, just... It's a ridiculous list of skills that we can't train in areas we can't go to. So, um, yeah, that's a long way off. Um, but that's all right. Hopefully, um, we should be all right uh, to just roll again. I don't believe there's anything else here. So, yeah. Um, Corp Cave is just over to the east. Uh, we can't get in from this side, so we are safe from Corp for now. That would be an account ending chunk or some kind of skip. Um, so that's kind of scary, and we are very, very close to it, but not quite in that chunk yet. So we live to roll another day. So, let's roll a chunk. And here we are, back in the chunk picker yet again. Um... Again, a nothing chunk. It would be cool if we could get the medium diaries, but we are so much closer to Corp. Um, I think that's going to be our worst chunk that we can get because we're really quite far away from Nightmare. And we're, what, that's four chunks. And we're, yeah, four away from the Theory of Blood as well. So without much further ado, <sighs> let's roll another chunk and hope for the best. Ooh. That is a dangerous area. Uh, is that? That's a, yeah, that's a wilderness boss. Okay. So, Ring of the Gods, Mystic Robe Top, Mystic Robe Bottom, Accursed Scepter. Uh, Vetion, then, I guess. It says Callisto and Arteo next to some of those goals, but I believe that that is Vetion. Um, yeah. Obtain a Vetion Junior. Ooh! Oh, that is kind of crazy, isn't it? <laughs> I thought we might roll a wilderness boss. In. We've had Venon Artists rollable for ages and ages and ages, but just haven't got it. Um, but it appears Vetion is the one that we're going to get. Um, is that big? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I mean, we've also unlocked half of Lava Dragon Isle. Uh, which I need to check and see if the shortcut is in this chunk or in the one next to it. If it's in this chunk, we might be landing ourselves with some kind of Lava Dragon goal, either now or in the future. It's not bringing up any Lava Dragon stuff, which gives me a bit of hope that maybe the shortcut's in the other chunk. Um, oh, but I guess Source probably hasn't updated this yet until the update to do with the shortcuts goes through. Um... Okay, yeah, so we might end up with a Lava Dragon grind as well as a Vetion grind. So, oh, oh, this could be a rough one, but a fun one, but a rough one. Oh my god, I don't know if I'm excited or nervous or a mix. <laughs> this is a crazy chunk to unlock. Our first boss on the account. So let's unlock the chunk. There we go. We've got an escape cave to the northeast, so we can get out of here. Um, and yeah, this should be the Vetion layer, I believe. Uh, oh, PK right there. <laughs> Good start. <laughs> what is the... Oh, I've got a feeling that's going to be a theme. So, the one thing that I know about these wilderness bosses, and I have never actually killed one since they've been put into these caves, um, 
I only ever killed them when they were outside and they were like ridiculous to kill, but you could safe spot them all. Um, is that they are camped like crazy um, by PKs. That is like the only thing I know about them from watching other people's videos and stuff. So I'm guessing that seeing PKs here is going to be a bit of a theme, but otherwise, I'm hoping it's going to be a fun chunk. Um, the cave and Vetion is obviously the main thing in here, um, but the rest of it should be all right. So there's Chaos Dwarves as well, and then this escape cave up to the northeast. Um, so that should be fine. I don't know why the... Can you go in? I guess you might, must be able to go into the escape caves as well, potentially. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but there is one thing in this chunk that we haven't mentioned yet, and that is Lava Dragon Isle. So, yeah, fuck, I thought so. Um, so there are lava dragons here, and as I've also just spotted, the shortcut is in this chunk to the to the east side of that thing. I was kind of quietly hoping it might be in the west side, but it is not. It is in this side. Um, and that's bad for two reasons. So currently, we can't actually cross this stepping stone because you have to complete the hard wilderness diary to do it. But... They are, Jagex, uh, removing a lot of the sort of diary and other requirements from agility shortcuts all across the game to try and make agility feel more rewarding. And one of those that has been on the list is this one, uh, to get into Lava Dragon Isle from the south. Um, and that is quite scary. Um, because Lava Dragons, of course... Drop the Draconic Visage. Um, that didn't come up on the chunk, chunk Picker list, and it didn't com come up because we can't actually access them. If I only had a melee weapon, for example, and rolled this chunk, um, so say this was my starting chunk, I couldn't get in and kill those Lava Dragons. Like, I would have to get some kind of magic or ranged weapon to do it. Um but it's not my starting chunk, so I technically can range over and, and kill them and tally grab whatever loot they have. Um, but because the track pig's not giving it to me, I'm not going to do that. But it, it looks likely that Jagex are going to roll out this agility shortcut change fairly soon and when they do we're going to have access to lava dragon out and that's suddenly going to appear on a trunk picker and we are going to have to get a draconic visage <laughs> from lava dragons. Um, which is going to take a long time and crucially going to cost us a lot of revenant ether a lot of it um because they're quite high hit points quite high defense and we've got to kill what ten thousand of them assuming we go on rate i mean if we pull another vigorous chain mace we're gonna we're talking you know forty thousand lava dragons to get it that's going to just melt my whole ether stack like just just there so we kind of got to hope we get lucky on this item when we eventually get it um it will make the prayer grind slightly easier and that is because i'm gonna have to kill the, the lava dragons anyway to get to get the visage and they're obviously going to then incidentally drop lava dragon bones and one of the things i know from another series is that by dropping uh, by burying lava dragon bones on lava dragon isle they do actually give like bonus prayer xp i think you get like 300 xp per one so assuming i do 10,000 kills we're talking like 3 million prayer xp pretty much guaranteed because i don't have to bank them i can just literally bury them there and there there and then um so that's quite exciting but yeah this chunk is uh <laughs> quite a scary one um i'm not looking forward to having to get the vetty on pet uh, like i'm pretty sure it drops some pretty cool loot but the pkers scare me a lot um and if i go dry and the pk oh sorry <laughs> right restart the account um if the pkers go kind of badly um and i die a lot and if I go really, really dry on the pet as well, like, I'm going to melt my whole ether stack again. So not only are we going to melt it at Lava Dragons anyway, 
But at Vettion, we're, you know, we've got the risk of losing it. So I'm going to start with Vettion and then worry about the Lava Dragons afterward. Hopefully once the um, Agility Shortcut update has hit and it's no longer sort of questionable whether we have to do Lava Dragons. It's just solid. Yes, you have to do Lava Dragons. So I'm going to wait and leave that till last. Um... <laughs> oh, God. This is a crazy chunk. This is a really crazy chunk. Hopefully, hopefully the PKing situation is not as bad as I'm hope as as I'm worrying it's going to be. Um, okay, cool. Right, let's get into it. Okay, so this is our working setup for now. Uh, I've got a strength potion, and I've actually got quite a lot of strength doses from all the random events over the time. Forty-eight plus these two, so fifty-two dose potions, which is not too bad, because and I don't mind using these because I believe that Vetian is going to be dropping us super combat potions relatively frequently. Um, so that is going to be a massive boost to our DPS, not only here, but everywhere else. So that is extremely exciting. Um, other than that, I think this is probably our best bet. We are, it looks like we're very low on blighted super stores, but I do actually have quite a lot of other ones. And also Vetion is going to be dropping us some as well. Um, so we're not as down bad for those as it looks like we are. Um, and other than that, I don't really have anything very good. The mace is going to be sick, as you'd expect. Um, but other than that, the rest of my gear is pretty miserable. It would be excellent if I had a salve amulet. I do not. Um, and I don't have any other really good amulets either, except the amulet of avarice. But that would obviously then mean we're sculled and risking the chain mace, which I don't want to do. Um, but otherwise, this is the gear setup we're going to go with. I just looked at a quick guide on... Um, on the interwebs and it doesn't look too difficult um this is the multivariant so i imagine i'm going to get dropped by pks relatively frequently and very easily by them but um the boss itself looks relatively easy and hopefully i'll be able to kill it relatively effectively um the one thing i'm most worried about to be honest is the fact that it looks like you have to run around a lot um one good thing is we have quite high agility, so our run energy should regen relatively quickly by itself. Um, but the other bad thing is that we don't have any stamina potions. We don't really have any access to any energy potions either. So I could see quite a conceivable reality where we're going to run out of run energy and then it's going to be a lot more tricky. So hopefully that doesn't come to pass. Uh, but otherwise, I guess I just need to go and get my first Vetion kill see how hard sell how easy it is and see if we get interrupted by any pks and hopefully we'll be getting some good loot relative where is it oh, it's one chunk over okay it's quite far away isn't it um would have been nice if i'd uh oh uh, i'm so sorry right guess i'll just have to delete the account and get it back to this stage <laughs> rip so for you it's been about five minutes but for me it's been about nine months getting the account back luckily we got all the chunks exactly the same so we've got all the same stats uh, which is pretty handy it was a you know long time of the making but we got here um i believe that this is going to cost us some money right to get in right the base entry is 50k so half the price of the word revenant caves uh no discount uh so looks like we just need to jump in um, looks like there can be other players here, uh, but looks like there isn't. So, okay, so I believe if I'm doing this right, I just need to essentially dodge all of the orbs that it's dropping and don't let it hit me. And why am I not hitting? Am I doing something wrong? Or does my account just suck? Um... <laughs> Um, I swear I don't have to do anything to hit, do I? Oh my god, please tell me the defense just isn't that good. Okay, no, I'm actually hitting now. Oh my god, this is fucking relentless. I have to try and one tick prior switch, right? Okay, right, so I believe the dogs are going to come out now. Hopefully these will be relatively easy to kill. Yeah, 30 hit points. Oh, the guide that I saw was for Calvarian, and they had 30 hit points as well. Uh, so that is pretty handy for me. Uh, God, these things are relentless. Right, okay. <laughs> I thought this might be slightly relaxing. Looks like it is not. Um, I need to get rid of these orbs, don't I? They're abysmal for this. Um, right. 
Okay, so we're hitting now. I don't know what the hell happened at the start that meant I couldn't hit very well. Uh, but we're hitting relatively okay. Um, will be nice once I get some super... Uh, don't remember this attack. Okay, right. Um, will be nice once I get some super... Ouch. Uh, once I get some super attack... Po well, super combat potions. Um, because I think that... W Am I supposed to do something at the start? Like, this is, a, like, again, at this transition phase that I'm just not hitting anything. Um, I don't know if that's me messing something up or not. Uh, this looks relatively doable. So I believe the pet right here is a 1 in 1,500. So 1,500 of these seems slightly exhausting. Um, Keeping my prayer up is going to be tricky. Hopefully this thing drops a lot of super... I guess it's not the end of the world because... Um, because I can get extra potions from Soul Wars. Um, but this isn't too bad. We're hitting relatively okay. don't think I've seen a max hit yet. God, I wish I had a bloody... Uh, Salve Amulet. That would be very, very nice. Alright, run away... Okay, I can certainly kill this though. It's taking a few minutes. Um, but this is the multi-variant instead of the singles variant, so I guess that's kind of understandable. Um, used a whole super store though, just getting this one kill. Um, so that's not great, I must say. Um, at least with Soul Wars, we have reliable kind of continuous access to super stores though. Um, right, gonna get more dogs. Hopefully, we can one hit them this time, please. No such luck. Yeah, I'm kind of getting wrecked. I think I just need to be better, and I need to get these out of my fucking face because they're doing my head in. Um, right, come on. I'm doing okay at the dodging, and there is definitely timing to it. Uh, so, it's not too bad. Oh, God. Okay, so, my accuracy does seem low. I think, once I get some super combat potions, I think this is going to be a lot better. And I think I should get my attack up as well. I think 70 attack just doesn't seem good enough for this and the Vigorous Chain Mace and the fact I've got no salve amulet. Um, but I think the super combat potions will put in a lot of work. And if I just get my attack up quite a bit, that'll probably be helpful as well. But we are on the final stretch here. Exciting times. How long has this taken? Maybe three minutes or so? So we're looking at like 20 kills per hour as an absolute maximum. Um, that's not great. But as I say, super combat potion will probably help. It would be nice if we had uh, piety with our 70 per hour, wouldn't it? Um, what is it? Like sometimes I just go through these stages of just not being able to hit like at all. Um, which is kind of brutal, but here we go. Looks like we're going to get the final hit shortly, if we could, please. Why can't I just not hit? I thought the Vigorous Chain Mace would honestly be better. Imagine if I didn't have it. This would be brutal. Um, right, and that is our kill. What are we going to get as our first loot? 225 magic logs. <laughs> that is so much. Oh my god, that's biblical. Uh, and some ranging potions. That is nice as well. Like, not necessarily right now. Uh, but I could use those at something like Revenants, right? And suddenly, they look very good indeed. Um, right, let's see if we can get another kill this trip. We're probably looking at two kill trips for now. Uh, at least until we get our super combat potions or our stats up. But, oh my god, this is so exciting. Your Vetion kill count is one. And that is kill count number two. I must say that one was a bit smoother than the first one. Uh, so I'm quite lucky in that regard. 50,000 coins, not a great drop. Um, but I reckon eventually, yeah, we'll be able to get some decent kills here. Um, my max hit is 39 with the regular strength potion. Um, how do I actually get out of here? Just exit. Um, yeah, so my max hit is 39 with the regular strength potion. Oh, fuck. What the hell is this? <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Oh, fuck. This is in a chunk that I can't do as well. Um, okay, that was just a genuine mistake. Uh, so what? I can only use one escape cave or teleport. Well, I don't think I can teleport. Um, okay, right. So 
I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. Is that random? Like, will it just spit you out of a random one or is it always the same one? Um, you guys will have to let me know on that. If it's always the same one, uh, then that's fine. I will have to go out one that I can do. If it's random, um, then I don't think I can leave without going into random ones. Um, like, without going out of the chunks, if it is random. Hopefully it isn't. Uh, looks like we get poisoned doing that, although I guess it is right at the end of the trip, so it isn't the end of the world. Um, but there's our first trip of Vetion done. Exciting stuff. 225 magic logs and 50,000 coins. Huge! Huge! Oh, this doesn't look very fun. Luckily he can't get my uh, chain mace. Whoops, shouldn't be drinking that. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be nigh on impossible for me to escape though. Um, because he's just going to come out in the same caves I am, right? Uh, looks like he's splashing a decent bit. Okay, I came out of these ones. Is that right? Okay, I came out the right one. Sorry about the sound. That is my daughter being very annoying. Okay, right. I got logged out. Oh, fuck. I did not know that was a drop. I'm deliberately going into this blind, so all of these drops are going to be so exciting. But 150 dragon bones. That is insane levels of prayer XP. Oh my god, 600k worth as well. I feel like I should probably bank that, but I just want to keep getting kills. This is so fun. Oh my god, my max hit being like 39 is actually not too bad as well. Oh, this is exciting stuff. Okay, so those super stores are exactly the kind of drop that we want. The diamonds are eh, uh, but the super stores are mega. And hopefully we can self-sustain with those uh, doing this method. Um, I'm still waiting on some super combat potions because I think that is going to be the real game changer for us. Um, but I've managed to pull these regular attack potions out of the bank and they seem to be do uh, helping us a little bit. Um, the hits definitely seem to be a bit more consistent now. Um, but I would say not too bad at the moment. Uh, I can quite feasibly see myself getting this pet. I don't think this is going to be anything we're going to have to backlog or anything like that. Um, and the drops we've got so far are pretty crazy. We've got 45 dwarf weeds on the kill that you didn't see, which isn't excellent right now, but that's like big Herblore XP one day, right? So um, I think this is going to be very, very beneficial for us, if not a very, very long grind, uh, potentially. If we go dry on this pet, if we go like three times dry like we have done with numerous other grinds so far, you know, we're looking at nearly uh, 5,000 kills of Vetion, and 5,000 kills of Vetion would be like a lot <laughs> that would take a many hundreds of hours um but to be fair the resources we'd get from it would probably be very very valuable to us so six and two threes i would say yeah oh this is so exciting and actually do you know what killing this boss now is actually very fun um i feel like we've got the timings down on the lightning um as he says as he immediately gets hit by one um, but I feel very, very good doing this now, um, and I've only done like five kills, so I'm sure once I've done hundreds of kills, uh, this will feel very, very nice. Um, not r r running out of run energy. Uh, luckily, the guy that we watched do the guide, uh, Telecon, uh, is a much worse player than us. He's terrible. Um, so, you know, I'm able to uh, uh, do this without a stamina potion where, you know, he did unfortunately struggle. So, yeah, unlucky Telecon. Not, not a very good player. Um, maybe shouldn't be making guides. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Love you, man. <laughs> 45 grimy snapdragons. So it looks like they've uh, brought it down from 100 to 45. That is still... Very, very decent. I mean, look at this looting bag. That's four kills over one mil GP. And crucially, some very, very exciting things. So I'm going to do some testing on this. So I reckon this one is the Northwest Escape Cave. So I reckon if I go out this one, I'm going to be coming out the right one. Yes. So I reckon those are actually a circle. So I think if I always go out the Northwest, I will always come out in a chunk that I have. So that's what we'll just have to do from now on, even if it's not very convenient for us regarding like PK and such like that um 
this poison is stressing me out a little bit as well. It's quite annoying getting poisoned every time I leave the caves. And we've got quite a long run back to uh, Farrak's Enclave as well. Um, which is kind of brutal. Um, so potentially what I'm thinking is I might bring a stranger fruit with me. Or, or a, a strange fruit. Sorry, I'm going to the Stranger Things live show at the weekend. Um, but uh, the strange fruit uh, is seems decent to me. Because it will cure my poison and give me plus 30 run energy. In the event that we really need it. So this kind of run back now where I'm not under pressure at all. There's no one attacking me. I'm not got, I'm not low on hit points, etc. doesn't really matter if I'm poisoned running back. But in the event I'm very low hit points after a PK has got on me. Or I need extra run energy to get away from a PK. Having a strange fruit that can cure our poison and give us 30 run energy is probably quite overpowered so i think i'll take one of those with me as like an absolute emergency should we need it um because i don't think i've got access to any other anti-poisons unless i am mistaken let me know um but yeah i wish it would have been nice if i'd had this revenant caves teleport unlocked to do this grind because uh, i think that's quite a short although i guess i'd need this one in the middle as well wouldn't i so going around like that's probably not that much different to going north like this um but yeah, good grind so far that I'm enjoying. I'm not very long into it, I will admit, but thus far, it's been good. And there they are. Nice. Super combat potions. Huge. Right, I'm going to try logging out in here and just see what happens. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I can. And if I do, the ideal thing is that I'll just spawn outside and I'll be able to like, log in again on the outside of the cave. I'm hoping that this isn't going to result in me logging in straight like back in the room or in the escape cave oh fuck okay so it does chuck you in the escape cave um right that's quite annoying actually <laughs> i was hoping that would be a way that i could sort of uh pause a trip without coming in here because not having anti-poison is really quite brutal actually okay right so i'm a hundred percent now that coming out of that northwest exit puts me out here which is great uh, and we finally have our super combat potions. That is exciting. Very exciting. It all bossing I've got to do in future. I'll be able to use super combat potions in theory. I mean, I'm thinking I'm probably going to use them basically either quicker or about the same rate as I get them. So I probably won't have too many left over. Um, but there's always the option to get them for if I have a super tricky grind. Like, for example, if I need to, like kill corporeal beast maybe it's slightly more feasible with super combat potions um super combat potions on extreme one junk this is crazy i've got a feeling we've probably not seen the half of the vetion table yet because I, I i will probably have put in a thing discussing vetion uh, in post -com, but live watching now i barely know what the drop table is at all Right, time to give this super combat potion a bit of a run out. Uh, unluckily for me, I've started this kill halfway through. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I can get the loot or not, because this is multi-combat. Uh, I'm just not sure if the multi-combat stretches to kills that are halfway through. Uh, but we shall find out, and we shall find out what our new max hit is, and if our accuracy is any better. Oh, God, these losers are so pathetic. <sighs> Came out the wrong entrance because I was panicking. <sighs> I just absolutely hate them, honestly. Oh, and there's our first... Co I think that's actually our first combat task total uh, on the account, which is pretty cool. 10kc. Uh, we've only died once, although that's once more than I would like, hopefully, because this is like the evening, so hopefully in the mornings it won't be quite so bad. Um, I'm hoping, I think there's like a, vet, a perfect Vetion task for like not getting hit, although maybe I'm totally wrong on that. Um, as you can see with the hit that I just hit, our new max hit is 40 with the Super Combat Potion as well, but I think the main benefit is going to come from the uh, accuracy bonus uh, because our max hit is fine like 40 is a decent max hit which is very inaccurate with the uh with the with the vigorous chain mace i don't know why that is uh we definitely have it charged um i guess it's just a pretty crap weapon in terms of like the base stats like it's um 
what, 60, it's like a level 60 weapon, right? So I guess even with the 50% bonus, it's not great. Um, it would have been nice if we could have unlocked Callisto first and got the uh, Ursine Chain Mace to do this with. Uh, I think that would probably be a lot better. But could be worse. We could be doing this with like a Rune Warhammer or something, uh, which I don't think would be possible. So, you know, six and two threes. This isn't too bad. Wow. 20. Sanfu Serum is essentially a prayer potion. Oh, fuck. See. Oh, no. Please don't have a team. I might be able to get away if he's not got a team, but if he's got a team, I'm totally fucked. Right. He looks quite bad, to be honest. Um. So I might be able to get away with it. I don't know. No, nope, he's got a team. We're so fucked. This is so infuriating. It's particularly brutal because, like, I lose the ether every single time as well. Like, who are these losers that, like, are coming out and trying to kill me for, like, 50 fucking K every time? Although, to be fair... They got me at the exact right time with the fucking sand food serums. <sighs> I might just only be able to do this in the morning, which is annoying because it's just going to really limit my amount of kills I can get per day. I don't know if I if it's worth like trying to get like a team or just... I don't know. This is really brutal. <laughs> Two deaths in, what, 13 kills for, you know, the best part of 1,500 ether each. Like, I, I can't sustain that. I cannot get this pet if that's the kind of rate that we're talking. I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, that felt good. Killing both of them back to back like that. More like that, please. Two back-to-back -back 30s on the hounds is fucking lovely. Ooh, 10 super restores. They're regular super restores. What the fuck? Oh my god. Yo. Yo. Right, that is fucking elite. That is so good. Oh my god. Can use those anywhere. I mean, they're not. I don't, I don't have access to brews, so they're not that important to me over the prayer pots that we already had from mammoths. But that's nuts. That is so nice to have. Oh, fuck. PK. Run. No chance. Please splash. Oh, no idea if this is an exit I can use. Sorry if it's not. I'm still panicking. I don't want to lose those restores and another load of fucking ether. I was on this fucking dork having a team with him. Probably yes, seeing as they all seem to for some reason. Ow. Oh my god. Like, I deserve to die for coming out the wrong entrance. But I just want to get some fucking kills without getting some fucking weapon on me doing this shit. Oh my god, like what? Oh my god, max on me more! Oh my god, he literally can't hit anything but fucking 50s! Oh my god, I've got one kill and four deaths! I'm so sick of this shit already! Oh my god! <sighs> I'm gonna end up needing to go to anger management after this, this is ridiculous. I can't do this, I actually- I can't do this chunk as is. I can't just be hemorrhaging 1,500 ether. Six, I've lost 6,000 ether to get one kill. And any and most of the good drops that I've got, I've lost immediately. Uh, how am I supposed to get, what, 1,500 kills on rate? 3,000? 4,500? 6,000 if we go really dry? I, I Can't be done. Right, so I'm going to have to start planning because uh, we're so fucked. I'm so fucked. I, li I can't do this in the evenings. And I need to have a team with me or something. Because I just I can't do this. Uh, like, I'm, I'm just in... Like, if this was Calvarian and we were in, like, level 20 Wildy, then, you know, potentially I can just teleport out if I see someone on the alternative account. But as is, like, I see someone on the alternative account, 
it starts flashing. I immediately run for the exit, and I, they've got they've froze me before I can even get away. I I actually don't know what I can do. I'm gonna need some suggestions in the comments because I literally don't know how I'm gonna end up getting a load of kills here without just losing all my ether. Genuinely, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> That's the first. <laughs> oh my god. That's on a fucking Australian world as well. Like it's like 9 a.m. in the morning there. Like oh my god, this I I genuinely am starting to think this chunk cannot be done. I'm just gonna log out. There's no, I literally can't do anything right now. Right, so it is the morning now, and I'm hoping it's gonna be significantly better because if it's not, we're gonna be in serious serious bother. Um, but this is our first kill. Hopefully we can get a few kills per trip. Basically, I need to get upwards of like five kills per day. 60 limpet roots. Is that good? Well, it's all right because it's quite a lot of them. But I guess I could still already get those from uh, hill giants. Um, but essentially, I need to be getting like five to ten kills per death to make it feasible that I'm going to get 1500 kills or more by the time I run out of ether. So the five deaths to one kill that we were getting is not feasible at all so hopefully we can get a bit of a string a bit of a trip together here uh and and it won't all be terrible <laughs> sorry am i outside flashing with someone but it was just someone walking past rather than a pk uh but that's probably the kind of thing that i need to just run away from by default without even looking so yeah oh this is stressful oh that is massive 225 super compost i don't think i've got access to super compost except this have i because i was using regular compost at the hops patch that is huge and there's shit loads of it right that is fucking excellent because that is just something i can use uh in the future all the time um oh that's massive like if i get that farming patch north of uh uh like the haunted wood and stuff i can use super compost oh my god this is big oh 400 oak planks 400 okay i mean that's what 24k uh construction xp i mean construction isn't the end of the world for me because um i've got infinite money and the lumber yard so i could just cut logs for it um but 400 just planks like there you go have the planks that is going to be fast uh construction xp in comparison to wood cutting at the lumber yard that's crazy 400 400 i guess this is the multivariant, but wow that is kind of biblical and off the day with four kills no deaths very nice hopefully that wasn't a fluke and is actually a sign of what it's like uh in the mornings when you know all of the americans have gone to bed basically um and hopefully not many of the europeans are up yet and if they are they're at their work jobs and stuff rather than bothering to kill me um so hopefully this is a good thing and we can keep this streak going i will be happy with four kills i'll be very very happy if we can get up to like 8 12 16 something like that over the next few trips um but yeah the loot if i can survive the loot is nuts like some of the stuff i lost last night like 10 super restores regular like just vanilla super restores um 20 sanfu serums again not like a blighted version obviously they don't exist um just oh my god sanfu serums they're massive because then I can do um, Nightmare without getting shredded, right? Because normally you'd need either Sanfus or Resilium Balms or whatever. Um, but I can't really get those. Aside from this, that's massive, actually. Oh, my God. Right, that's big. Um, hopefully I get a lot of those. I mean, 20 at times a lot, but hopefully the drop rate is not too bad. Because I've still not looked at the drop rates because I feel like... It'd be more fun not to for now. Um, maybe once I get to like 50 kills or 100 kills, I'll have a look and see see really where we're at. Um, yeah. 
that's massive. Um, but just even this stuff, super compost. That's just big, generally. Like it'll be. I know I can probably make that. Like if I get like a herb patch or something, I'll be able to make that. But to be fair, if I get a tree patch next, um, I wouldn't be able to make super compost, and that is going to be very, very big for making sure that my tree seeds and stuff don't die. Um, the oak planks. It's not massive for me. But it's going to be a time save for sure because I can just teleport into the house and use those rather than um, having to make them at the lumber yard which, and chop them at the trees, which is going to be a long time. I mean, how long would 400 oak logs take me to chop, right? Like 15 minutes? More? 20? Something like that. So that's pretty big. Uh, the limpworts aren't huge, uh, but the death runes as well, like that's just going to come in handy. I mean, eventually I'm going to end up at Barrows and I'm going to need to use a lot of magic. Um, I've got 93,000 blood runes, which you'd hope would be enough, but maybe it won't be. And maybe this will drop blood runes as well. We'll see. If they, usually things that drop death runes also drop blood runes, so we shall see about that. Um, but I would say if we can survive here, um, we're going to have a very, very fun time collecting up this loot. But... I really don't know if my ether's going to last. I really, really don't. Um, so we'll have to see. Hopefully it will. Um, but I really don't think so. I think I think this is going to have been a fluke. <laughs> I think we're going to be in trouble. Sorry. <laughs> Why are they so expensive? Four wilderness crabs teleports. And they're 133k. You fucking what? Where is that? Over here? I guess I can technically use that, but I can't really get anywhere useful with it. That's bizarre. 133k for four of them. Why are they so expensive? Someone tell me in the comments why they're so expensive, because they must be useful for some... Maybe people doing amulets of glory? Uh, Fountain of Root? No, but they've used the Wilderness Sword, right? Because the Wilderness Sword teleports right around there. Um, yeah, no idea why you'd use that. Odd. Oh, I thought I'd got the pet or something there. Mystic Robe Tops. That's the best in slot mage for us. Very nice. And we got the elite combat task for getting the kills. And I checked, and that is actually the last one. So I thought, because I got a perfect kill before um, on the kill that I got the Sanfu Serums. And I really thought, oh, I've done it. Like, I've got the perfect kill. And I didn't get it. So I just checked to see if there was a combat task for that. And there's not very oddly um so I, I don't know why they made it this sort of like no damage boss like possible to be no damage like it was before if there's no like perfect kill task seemed odd to me eight kills with no deaths come on oh, if this isn't a fluke this might be doable um because yeah i've counted it that i need between five and ten so this might be doable before we run out of it i mean mad to think that um i'm considering that i need to finish one boss without running out of ether considering i did seventy thousand revenants and doing more revenants is the only way to get more um that's mental um but I guess it is what it is, right? <laughs> the wilderness weapons both giveth and taketh away. Um, but, not too bad. Let's have a look at the loot. So, slightly worse this time. Um, we did get some more oak planks, which are pretty good. Uh, the chaos runes are kind of useless for us, unless we just want to do splashing. But we're very close to 99 now. I don't think we'll need to do splashing. Um, I deliberately haven't been doing it, because I know that if we do get something like a barrow's chunk one day, it'll be light work to finish it off 99 just passively um and then other than that we got those weird wilderness crab teleports and the mystic robe tops which might actually be useful for us because finally we're gonna have some uh magic gear that's you know good <laughs> so uh elder chaos tops sad that we uh that we had to go through all that to get it and it was uh pretty much useless for us uh, because now we've got this. I'm guessing if it drops the top, it probably drops the bottom and the hat as well. Uh, that would be pretty nice. Um, but yeah, judging off the loot so far, I mean, 550 cannonballs, totally useless for us at the moment. But one day, one day we might get a cannon, at which point 550 cannonballs per kill uh, would be crazy. So yeah, let's keep the streak going. Hopefully, extend beyond the eight kills significantly. And then I'll be happy. Oh, finally, more super combat potions. I needed those so badly. I've, I've run out of attack potions entirely. Sorry if you can hear my Discord going off. Um, my goodness, I just need 
need more of these because I'm very rapidly running out of like strength potions and stuff and it is so noticeable the DPS difference when I'm using super combat versus not it's like actually insane and that is another trip uh, tw up to 12 kills now without a death which is pretty good uh, which one is ours? I believe it's northwest. So it seems like Protect from Mage stops me getting hit so much, but I still get poisoned. I don't think there's a way to stop getting poisoned here uh, without an anti of some kind. Um, but yeah, 12 kills, no deaths. If this isn't a fluke, we're looking very, very good. Very, very good. Hopefully, please, please, God. <laughs> I just can't, I can't do another chunk dealing with PKers every two minutes. It would just be too painful, especially in multi, and especially without a single like agility shortcut or whatever to get away from. Like the agility shortcuts saved me at the revenants. Like if I didn't have the agility shortcuts and revs, I'd have died five hundred times in comparison to the um, one hundred ish that I did die here. Last night it was looking bleak. I had about nine kills and like five deaths or something total. More, six deaths, nine kills or something. So um, that would have been like a thousand deaths to the 100 that I had in the Revenant Caves. But this is now looking slightly better. Um, so hopefully this can keep up. Oh, here we go. Fun stuff. Funs. I wish I had a, uh, a Void Waker or something. That would be really fun. Right, I'm going to try this press-up thing that people do, right? Uh, let's give this a go. Okay, he went out. I stayed in. How do I then capitalise on this? I guess I just stay in until I see him on the out, come out again. Okay, okay. I don't know why I didn't see him on the out when he came in. He must have just logged in really quickly. I am nervous right now. <laughs> very bloody nervous. Just keeping a very strong eye on the alt right now just to see if that guy comes back. I pressed the I pressed the wrong um thing as well didn't I? I pressed the like dance one instead of a press up one so it didn't even look like I was going through um okay so so because I'm not in combat here right can I I'm guessing what I can do if I really need to is just like log out right um like unless I get hit by this stuff I guess I'm technically not in combat I mean maybe there's some kind of protection against that I guess uh, I guess I'm in combat now um okay he's not come back yet so he might be safe he might have just moved on accepted that he was outsmarted or something i don't know um so because this is the morning and like all americans are asleep all europeans are at work and this kind of thing um i think essentially there's not many teams i think people like you know gather up in the evenings to do kills with their friends and stuff um, so the fact that it's the evening probably means that these people don't, um, don't kind of have friends to PK with. And so if you don't have any friends to PK with, why would you come to multi-combat? Um, you may as well go to like the Revenant Caves or some other place like that. Um, so that's kind of my thought. Uh, right, we've got the Chaos Runes. He's still not come back yet, so... Should I stay? <laughs> that is the question, isn't it? Uh, I think I will. I think I will. Oh, is that good? Mortmire Fungus, 450. That's what, energy potions, I guess, one day. 450? 
I should have done this on my regular Iron Man. That seems like an uh, an insane amount, no? I mean, again, all of these like herb law supplies are like basically totally useless for me. But one day they won't be. Um, and that, I guess, is the key thing, right? Is that one day all these herb law supplies will actually be worth something. Um, so getting them now is solid. Um, so 450. That seems ridiculous. How is he getting in without me seeing him? I'm so confused. Ugh, annoying. At least we got some kills, though. I mean, how many kills do we get? Uh, 15 before getting killed. I guess that's not the end of the world. Ah, yeah. Oh, what happens if I climb up there? Does that take me back into the boss layer? Is that how he's getting in? Okay, maybe that's how he's getting in, up through there. That kind of makes sense. Um, okay, maybe that's maybe that's how he's doing it, I guess. I guess we'll give that a go. Uh, if that does take me back into the boss layer, that might be useful at some points. Um, okay, well, we lost all that loot. <laughs> but... Um, I guess it wasn't the biggest deal anyway. Um, good to know that we can get that more my fungus, but yeah, it's all right. Little two k uh, two kill trip that time for two twenty five magic logs and six seven five gold ore. Now that gold ore will be massive one day when we manage to get ourselves some goldsmithing gauntlets. But to get, uh, uh, which is annoying because we actually have quite a lot of the locations for the goldsmithing gauntlets, right? So uh, we have Varrock over here. We have the pub up here, we have the mine here, but then they screw you by putting the other, the cooking gauntlet fellows, right the way over, what, uh, in Catherby here. So, quite a while away, a herb lore grind away, essentially, in all likelihood. So, yeah, I don't think we'll be getting those gold uh, smithing gauntlets anytime soon, but if we could, that 675 gold ore would be ridiculous xp i guess it's probably still okay as it is um but yeah would be massive i mean yeah that's a lot of gold for one drop oh that is what we love to see yeah so it does drop some blood runes but yeah these super combat potions are just so good um so i'm definitely going to be using these as much as i can um very very nice to have i think i'm literally going to take like a one or two dose with me each trip um bank every two or three kills um, my thought is bank every two kills if i get good loot so for example um 150 dragon bones is like you know, some of that absolute most peak loot that we can get. Um, so I'm not going to stick around for four kills if I get loot like that. I'll stick around for two. Um, and then and my thought is if I don't get anything too good, stick around for a third, possibly a fourth. Um, and then only take like a one dose super combat with me. And then I should hopefully from there be able to sustain them. Because uh, I should be getting, what, sort of 12, 15, 16 kills uh, out of six doses of super combat. At which point, hopefully, based on the rates we've had so far, what, we've had three in 33 kills. Hopefully, that's about right. And, you know, we're talking a fairly average session um, to, like, kind of maintain our super combats. If we can start building a stockpile, even better. But maintaining will be, you know, solid enough. Okay, so I've decided to decant my super restores, and look how nicely you can do this if you've got your uh, potions set to use instead of drink. Oh, so good. So you go like that, and then you go like that, and then 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 like that. Okay. So that should speed this up quite a lot, doing those left clicks. So hopefully we'll be able to knock through these eight out and then we'll actually have kind of, you know, a count on how many super stores we have. Um, and once we've got that, we'll know kind of how likely it is that we're going to have to go back to Soul Wars one day uh, to get some more. Uh, because I guess this boss does drop some. 
Um, so it's not the end of the world necessarily, but um, yeah, it would be. It would. I think we're probably going to end up having to go to Soul Wars because I don't feel like I'm keeping enough left over to get to the end of this grind without grinding out some more. To be honest, but I guess it could be worse. Right, let's see what the final count is on the Super Restores. Nearly 400. Okay, that's not too bad. So that should last us... I mean, I'm using about one per kill, I think. So that should last us about 400 kills, excluding any deaths. Um, and what? How many Super Restores can I get per hour at Soul Wars? Uh, 100-ish? So I guess it's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, that should last us a little while. Uh, yeah, let's use the new method then. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 10, and 5. We don't need to load up on food, because frankly, if any PKs get on us in multi, we're just going to die anyway. Um, but other than that, we should be good to go. We need to just grab an extra bit of ether for our uh, mace, because I reckon we use about 70 or 80 per kill, so I want to have the opportunity to do about 4 kills, so we want to be around about just over 300. Uh, and this should probably be what we're going to be doing from now on for a long, long time. Oh, there is a 1250 total and 92 strength and some more super combat potions. Very nice. So, um, one of the things that I need to bear in mind on this account is how I'm going to level from here on out. I thought I'd knock out the 92 strength just because it was like right there and I may as well. Um, I was thinking about defense before I actually started killing this boss, just getting up to 70 or 75, something like that, you know, may as well, uh, kind of vibes. But I think that's actually a mistake. The PK, because this is multi, if PK has got on me, they got on me. Like, I'm just going to die no matter what. It doesn't matter if I've got 60 defense, 70 defense, 99 defense. I'm just going to get wrecked no matter what. That's why I'm not bringing a rune kite shield with me anymore or like any other defensive gear. Um, I bring the Black Dehyde just because it's so readily available and can stop like single PKs splashing on me, um, uh, like like hitting me with a with a, a tele block or whatever. Not tele block. What's the one? Uh, like freezes and stuff. Um, but the rest of it, I don't think is too important. Um, so yeah, I'm not bothering with that anymore, and therefore I think I shouldn't bother with defense. Um, I could keep getting my strength up. That's probably a decent call as well. Um, but actually, I think probably because the XP, like 677k XP, that's a lot of XP. Um, and if you can see, I am quite inaccurate on the boss, even with super combat potions. I'm not as bad as without, um, but I am quite inaccurate, he says, just as he smacks two big hits in a row. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is actually get my attack up. I think that's probably going to help me because I'll be able to get like five attack levels for every one um, strength level at the moment. So I think that's probably going to be the best way to go about it. Um, uh, so yeah, hopefully this will mean we're going to hit a lot better and a lot more. I mean, look at that. Even just the plus three. Oh my God, it's the best he's ever hit. Four massive hits in a row. We love to see it. Maybe accurate is the way to go. Oh, we finally got our 10 super restores back. Very nice. All right, let's go bank. Three kills, that'll do. Oh, fuck, I forgot here. Uh, northwest. Uh, I think it's Northwest. God, it's so tricky to remember. Like, when I come into here, I'm sure it does orientate the same way every time, but I've not got used to it yet. Um, yeah, oh, I just wish I had some kind of anti-poison or something. Oh, fuck. Okay. Rune pickaxe. I didn't know it dropped that. Right, so I knew it dropped dragon pickaxes, but the rune pickaxe is actually quite big as well. So again, we can't use it yet because we're not 41 mining, but one day when we do get a bronze pickaxe or an iron pickaxe, um, or we lamp up to get a steel pickaxe, whatever, um, we will be able to use that to get from level 41 to level 61 for our eventual dragon pickaxe. Um, that's massive, because that's going to speed up that grind so much. Like, 41 to 61 mining does not seem that bad. Um, but bear in mind that this is going to be having to be done one day on, like, you know, bronze, like, like copper and tin, on iron, on maybe shooting stars if we get lucky in specific moments. So, in that regard, having that rune pickaxe to get from 41 to 61 is going to be 
huge. So that is a cool drop. See, and we're, what, 39 kills in and we're still getting some pretty interesting drops. So, yeah, I wonder what else there is for us in store. I mean, I've not got a unique yet. That would be pretty cool, right? I mean, what, what are we looking for? Void Waker Piece, Dragon Pickaxe, uh, Dragon 2H... Um, and then, oh, the uh, the thing that you attach to the, I think it's the scepter, um, to get the, like, upgraded scepter, which I guess, just thinking about this now, will one day be pretty good for Barrows, right? Because I'm pretty sure that gives a, a few max hits to the, uh, to the scepter. So maybe if I still have any ether left by the time we get to Barrows, I'll be able to use it there, which would be pretty cool. Oh, we absolutely love to get the dragon bone drop. 588k, that's just so nice to get every single time. I'm very excited for the first time I get a pink text uh, pop up when I get like a dragon pickaxe or a void waker piece or whatever. That's going to be fun. Uh, but the 150 dragon bones, we will take that every single time. Right, here is 50 kill count at Vetion. Uncut dragon stones, that is not a drop that we need. <laughs> I've had 900 of those from Revenant, so, uh, yeah. Right, 50 kill count, though, and I've only died uh, once in the last, what, 36 kills? So, do you know what? This may very well be doable. Um, why is my run energy so low? I was not conserving very well. Um, so... Yeah, one death in 36 kills, that is definitely tolerable. Um, so it looks like I may just have to do this in the daytimes, during the week. Can't really do it in the evenings. I'll have to kind of come up with something else to do in the evenings. Maybe I'll just sort of do Soul Wars and bank a load of zeal, because that could be useful. Um, uh, like in the future, I could roll the hit points cape chunk and get that straight away, or I could roll the monastery and have a big head start on prayer, or I could roll lumbridge and I could get a big start on the defense grind. So I think that's probably a kind of risk free thing to do. Um, I could also just cash it in for uh, spoils of war for like crafting XP or smithing XP or something like that. Um, so I think just banking a load of zeal in my free time on mobile might be the way because it just has such a diverse range of applications that um, it will be useful for me in the future at some point. Um, so I think I might just do that in the, on, on mobile and uh, do this during the day on the PC. Uh, but fun times. That is very, very interesting. On my last kit, on this kill that I just did, um, a guy came in, hit the boss, like, one time, and got, like, a fat stack of loot. 11 grimy dwarf weeds from one hit. We, I don't think he even hit anything. Um, he just stepped in, hit the boss, and then left again. Um, must have thought this was a free world or something. And he got 11 dwarf weeds from it. That seems like it could be abused. Um... I feel like, you know, there's a potential, you know, I've got an audience, which is nice, thank you for watching, um, that I could get, like, ten teams running Vetion all at once, and I just, like, run in and, like, hit it a few times near the end of the kill or something, and scoop up the loot and the pet chances and things like that, and that could be, like, way better for me per hour with such crap gear um, than soloing it myself like this. Um... That could be an abuse <laughs> of power. I've always tried to make it so that, like, when I do things with, like, either alternative accounts or with people's help, that I always, like, pay for it in some regard so that it's not just me abusing the fact that I've got an audience of people that watch and would be willing to help me out. Um, so, you know, potentially doing that might just be beyond the pale <laughs> and just a little step too far into the uh, immorality. But... It seems like it'd be the best way to do it if you were like a pet hunter or or something like that. Interesting. Ooh, that's a nice drop. 50 dark crabs noted. Very nice indeed. That's like useful food for me. It means uh, at least my sharks will stick around and they're not blighted. So I could in theory uh, use those outside of the wilderness as well. So, uh, yeah, really nice. 50 Dark Crab. Hopefully that's quite a common drop. I mean, we've only had it once in 53, so perhaps it's not. Um, but that could be useful for us in the future as well as right now. 
Oh, that's an interesting one. A hundred wines of Zamorak. So it looks like Vetion is like a very herb law centered uh, drop table, um, which is not too useful for us now. But one day I'll probably be thanking my lucky stars that I've got a hundred wines of Zami. Uh, that seems like a lot. And to be honest, I feel like this is a boss that regular Iron Man should do <laughs> like a lot because... These herb loss supplies were not fun to get when I was doing it on my regular Iron Man, and it drops a lot of them. Like, 100 of these is pretty crazy, but the 450 Mortmire Fungus, in my opinion, was, like, the craziest one. Like, that's wild. Oh, you just love to see it every time. Surely these aren't as common as I've got. That's the fourth one that I've, um, that I've got in 60 kills. Surely these aren't a 1 in 15. That would be nuts. That would be really nuts. <laughs> And there are the Mystic Row bottoms to match the tops that we got. So that is two out of three. Hopefully uh, there are hats because then we will have a full set. It would be pretty bleak if there wasn't when we were wearing an Elder Chaos Druid hood <laughs> with this when training mage. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to 75 kill count and then I'm going to just take a look at the drop table and uh, let you know what I think. Uh, it's pretty good so far. Hopefully it will get even better. Uh, every time I boot up the recorder, I seem to hit quite well, and then as soon as I turn it off, <laughs> I hit terribly. Um, well, yeah, here we go. I, do, I thought this thing was minus 10 crush defense, um, so I don't really know why I'm hitting so inaccurately. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got long bone as well. Oh, that's hilarious. There is 20 Sandfu Serums, and that is our cue to go back to the bank because we already got kind of screwed. Uh, PK kind of jumped in on us, but I was able to get away uh, kind of quickly. Um, so I was got poisoned, but it was pretty low health. So I thought, ah, I'll stick it out. And it was clearly worth it. Sandfu Serums, 20 of them. Huge, huge stuff. One day that will be massive for us. Um, yeah, that's going to be so good. Nightmare will just be so doable. 73! <laughs> and there is 72 attacks. Still not a combat level, I don't think. No, uh, we're up to 101 combat and a half. Uh, 72 attack. I think I'm going to go to what? At least 80? Like, I just think because my attack is so low and relative to my strength, I can get so much extra DPS per XP from leveling my attack. Um, and then I think once we get to, like, 80, 85, I'll probably swap back to strength. And there is 20 Sanfu Serums as a drop. We love to see that. So I'll definitely go and bank that, especially because I've got two Super Combats in my event as well. So what I've figured out is because there's, like, this... Um, this like duration where you can't move after you exit the caves um the pk is always try and like preempt what you're doing so like if you leave the cave that in and and they don't click it straight away um they kind of get stalled a little bit and therefore can't attack you straight away um on the other side so you can kind of get a bit of gap and stuff like that um so they all try and click out like straight away before you do um so if you just go to the end exits of the caves and stuff they quite often click it and you don't and therefore they leave and then you're kind of in this weird limbo and because there's like multiple exits if i go to an exit that i can't leave from look like i'm gonna leave they click out and then I just go to the exit that I am going to leave. Um, it's kind of impossible for them to do anything about it. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> and should, hopefully, mean I can get away from more PKs. Again, though, it only really works in, like if it's a single PK. If there's like whole teams on me, there's really not much I can do. Um, so I've just kind of got to hope for the best. <laughs> I did it again! I did it again! Right, I've gone the wrong way, though. Oh god, I'm gonna run out of run. <laughs> no, no stamina is gonna kill me here. No, no, why didn't I bring the strange fruit? Okay, he's run out of energy as well. Yes. <laughs> no. Come on, come on. Uh... <laughs> oh, 
that's so funny. As if they can be bothered. Oh my god, like, how can my, like, 500k, if that, be worth it? What a pair of plonkers. So, I just had a thought, which is that I don't have any anti-poisons, right? And I've been bitching and moaning about it the whole time. Sanfu serums, they are anti-poisons, aren't they? I'm pretty sure they are, because they give you immunity, right? So, I think I might start bringing Sanfu serums with me, because there's quite a lot of times where I, like, leave the caves, um, and like you know like a pk i see a pk so i instantly leave and then like he either doesn't get on me or just logs out or whatever and i still have my super combat boost and i want to go back in and like finish the trip but i can't because i'm poisoned um so just having like a one dose sand free serum on me at all times might help me out a bit i think um so i might start doing that although it's only a six poison and i have just tanked through it before so maybe that's not worth it um I get, because one day I'm going to need those Sanfu serums, aren't I? So it's probably better that I just save them. Oh, I wish I had easier access to a, <laughs> to a, to a uh, anti-poison of some kind. I absolutely hate the kills where I've not got super combat potion. These, I'm just so inaccurate in comparison. Um, I've worked out, so I had a look at the drop table now, finally. Um, and the super combat potions are a 1 in 18, and you either get 2 2 doses or 3 2 doses. So, on average, 2.5. Um, which means that I need to stretch each dose to about 4 kills to constantly have it, assuming no trips that I leave early and no deaths. So realistically, four or five kills per super combat dose to always have it active. And I don't really know if that's realistic. So I think in all likelihood, there just are going to be a percentage of the kills that we do with nothing. Because eventually I'm going to run out of these regular strength potions as well, which is a bit annoying. But not the end of the world. Um, I'm very lucky to have access to like super combat potions at all. The fact they're on the drop table is just very, very nice. Um, I am also stacking up the range potions, which I thought would be very handy for if and when I go back to revs or if and when I unlock a boss that I can do uh, range with. Um, so I think you do Callisto with range, for example. So if I ever unlock Callisto, having like a big stockpile of range, range potion doses like as I go into it will just be very, very nice indeed um so yeah i think that's 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 really nice um but yeah i think realistically i'm just going to have to do some kills without super combat doses which is annoying but it is what it is so we got 150 dragon bones on the last kill and this kill is number 100 100 vetions killed so we died a grand total of six times in the first 14 kills <laughs> so uh that would have been terrible but in the second half in the 86 kills we've got since we've only died twice so that means that we are in a far better spot to get this chunk done and it is not as account destroying as i feared right at the very start seems like we might get away with it the update on the timer in 43 minutes is going to be the zombie pirate update i don't know what that's going to entail for me and could entail some nutty stuff so likely it's going to add what adamant seeds and the blip teleport scrolls as some kind of collection log slot but who knows what the drop table of those undead pirates is going to be the only thing i know is i am definitely going to be having them as a chunk task because they are in chunks that i've done so if there's any tasks that shake out from them i'm gonna to have to do it but there is 100 batty on kill count very excited to get this boss underway and <laughs> very happy that it's not going to be as awful as i feared it would be so yeah we should be all good so i think what i'm gonna do is call it there 100 kill count of vetion that is absolutely massive very panicked earlier in a week but you know now i'm feeling slightly better about it um separately real life stuff i got made redundant from my job this week so nothing i did nothing um that was wrong with my role uh just the entire company 
decided to implode. Um, and that means I don't have a job anymore, <laughs> which is kind of good because it means I can do some more content creation, but also kind of bad because I was poor. So I did a community post earlier in the week and the response was just so positive that I just had to shout some people out because they were just so great. Like I, All I said was, oh, you know, going to be poor. Uh, if you can, you know, sign up to HelloFresh, which was a sponsor for last week, or uh, buy some of the merch that I've got, you know, that'd be hugely appreciated. And, you know, two people took it upon themselves to just donate money, uh, which I didn't ask anyone to do, but, you know, I think they deserve a shout out for doing it just off their own back. So Lai donated $45.69, which was just, you know, so unexpected. And then a few days later, Flatty donated $532, which, uh, you know, blows me away how supportive you guys are like of me like this whole community is just so so good um and then in conjunction with them we also just got you know a huge amount of channel membership signups which you know was hugely appreciated and you know set my mind at ease a little bit that i could you know you know sit back a little bit make sure i got you know the next job that i got was you know really the right one um so huge shout out to the channel members as always font Cest and talfane uh, along with patrick wright who upgraded his membership to amethyst and yearn scallon who upgraded who uh, is a new channel member at the amethyst tier as well uh, the rune tier crito and cyanscape um cornstalk hands and jesse Amelian. and then in the legend tier we have el pinin brad norsium come Crum Pit, Titas, Uberhasu, and then three new channel members at this tier Baseman and Draco Ranger, and then also Alacy, who uh, subscribed for a whole year up front. So, massive, massive shout out to him. Um, gold tier, we have as always Avery Fields, Eddie Mayer, Shock Thief, DJ Focus, Grimsley, Sal Nexor, Kai, Hunterman, Carl Sprouse, Ninrim, Squang. Olivet, Hazmat 83, Nilo 360, Crow Poro, Vandio Gaming, Asharanka, Spooky Pasta, Castman, Hannibal, Patatis, and then all the new guys which have joined, which is six of them since the channel post, which is just absolutely crazy. Um, Wimble, Only Moly, Played Pancakes, Ed Manta, Man of Gold 93, and then Chas John, who subscribed for a year up front as well. So massive shout out to all those guys. Really appreciate it in this slightly tricky time for me but i'm sure i'll come back stronger than ever so yeah huge shout out to the guys that donated again lie and flatty you know really really appreciated um yeah i think that's all uh decent chunk to roll awful chunk to roll still can't quite decide i think it really depends on just how in force the pks are at different times of day uh if they can stay away i think this can be a good chunk if they can't it's going to kill the account because I really need, I really wanted to get a weapon before, <laughs> before running out of ether, and this chunk could kill the ether stack dead. So hopefully it doesn't. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. You have a whole foot. <laughs> you have a whole football, or should I say, soccer match at worth. <laughs>